Hi Crochetters of the world, I'm Juana and this is Juana's Crochet channel on YouTube. In this tutorial I want to show you how to crochet this lovely triangle motif. It's this actually, the triangle. I'm working here on a scarf with this triangle. And if you want to know how to put together, join together the um, triangles to obtain a, a long, nice long scarf, um, I already worked with this technique with another triangle motif, a uh, runner, actually, table runner. So I will put you the link below so you can just uh, be inspired by it. Now let, let us begin with this lovely look at it. Isn't it just lovely? Lovely triangle. Now I'm working with a thin yarn it's really a thin yarn this one it's uh, from Alize it's Shawl Simli the name and what can I what else can I say about it is to be worked with um, one two three crochet hook actually I'm working with a four millimeters crochet hook and it's just perfect for me so we want to begin with the magic loop and a chain one and we will work like this one single crochet and one single crochet with a chain five because one two three four and five insert the hook into the two loops of the single crochet and slip stitch to join the picot now repeat this two more times now I have three single crochet with pico and three single crochet without pico in between them and now I just want to close my magic circle and to single crochet into the first single crochet sorry to slip stitch into the first single crochet to join now chain one and let us begin the second round insert the hook into the first single crochet and single crochet now chain 5 and into the cha first chain 5 pico yarn over and work 6 double crochets 3 4 5 and 6 now take the hook from the loop, insert the hook into the first single uh, double crochet worked, put the loop again on the hook and pull the loop through the double crochet. Chain 1 to secure, first popcorn stitch made. Now chain 5 again and insert the hook into the single crochet without pico and single crochet. Repeat this two more times. Slip stitch to join into the first single crochet worked. Round number 3. Begin with a chain of three, which is our first double crochet. Now keep the finger on the third chain and work five more chains. Insert the hook into the third chain that you worked where you kept your finger and slip stitch to join. Now chain five around the first we have on one side on the other side of each of our three popcorns we have uh, a chain five arch so around the first of the first popcorn single crochet now work chain five and around the next of the same popcorn stitch single crochet now chain five again and into the single crochet in between work one double crochet with a chain five pico now repeat this all around so chain five insert the hook around the first arch chain five five arch of the second popcorn and single crochet three four five then again chain five around the next arch 
and single crochet. Now again, three, four, five. Yarn over in between the popcorns into the single crochet work. One double crochet and one, two, three, four, five for the pico. Insert the hook into the double crochet and slip stitch to join. Now, this double crochet with the pico will be actually um, there are three already yes there are three so these will be our three corners okay so in between them so from the first one to the second one and so on we have one two three three chain five spaces okay this is very important because that will be the distance so what we have in between one and two uh, pico double crochet with pico is our side the side of the triangle so three four five again and around the chain five single crochet now three four five again and around the next single crochet and now we actually have to work one more chain five to join but we will work like this chain two yarn over insert the hook into the so put on your hook two loops into the chain where you worked actually the pico and work a double crochet so this chain two and double crochet actually it's our last chain five space only that we want to begin in the middle of it the next round okay so let us begin the next round chain one so until the end we will work like this the last chain five space chain two and double crochet okay uh, chain one insert the hook into the double crochet and work one single crochet yarn over into the first pico double crochet with pico work like this two three four five double crochets chain three and five more one double crochets of course one two three four and five okay now as I said from one double crochet with pico to the other we have three one two three chain five spaces now we work like this around the first we work a single crochet then we chain five and into the second we work a single crochet chain five and into the last one two three four five into the last around the last we work a single crochet and we repeat this we will work the last chain five space exactly as we worked the last chain five space chain five space of the previous round so chain two and double crochet but i will show you just continue on like this so sorry actually from here we just have to repeat i i hope it's clear and on the side now we will have only two chain five spaces instead of three as you can see so i worked one chain five space of the last um side and as i said the last chain five space we want to work it like chain two yarn over insert the hook into the first single crochet worked and work a oops, and work a double crochet okay and now this is what we have now so as i said these are our three um corners okay now let's go on and work the second to last uh, round. So chain one, insert the hook into the double crochet and single crochet. Yarn over and around the five double crochets that we have here, we will work from the back side. We work actually back post double crochet. So from the back side, on the right side of the double crochet, around the post of it, work one, the same thing, two. three four and five into the chain three space work two double crochets chain three and two double crochets
and again five back posts double crochet around our five double crochets that we have from the previous round okay now to continue on the side we have two chain five spaces now insert the hook into the first and single crochet work one chain five space three four five and single crochet into the next chain five and continue on like this so in this second to last round we will have only one chain five space on one side continue on like this until the end work the last chain five space exactly as you worked the the last of the of the previous rounds so chain two and double crochet but i will show you how so now to work my last chain five space i just want to chain two yarn over insert the hook into the first single crochet worked and work your double crochet now we are ready to work the last uh, look at it isn't it so i don't know i just love it so we are ready to work the last and i will show you how to join of course the triangles tra uh, through <laughs> one to another okay so chain one and single crochet ag again into the double crochet now chain five three four five will be a round of chain five so insert the hook into the second double crochet and work a single crochet chain five insert the hook into the second to last and work a single crochet chain five again insert the hook into the chain three and work a single crochet chain five pico so into the single crochet insert your hook and join now again chain five three four five and into the second double crochet work a single crochet three four five into the second to last work a single crochet one two three four five into the chain five work a single crochet now one two three four five into the second double crochet work of the corner of course work a single crochet now one two three four five and into the second to last work a single crochet one two three four five and single crochet into the chain three and now we have to make the pico but uh, I just want to show you how to join now first of all just let me show you something without picos we have one two three four five and six so we have six chains chain five spaces on one side without the pico so with picos actually we have eight eight uh, joining parts let's say okay so we have to be careful because there are lots of them so we don't have to skip any so chain two for the pico and now as i said i want to join so to join i will insert the hook it's here in the middle where is my two picos already joined okay and slip stitch to join continue on with chain two more and single crow and slip stitch into the single crochet to finish the pico now chain two and exactly into the first chain five slip stitch to join chain two chain two and back to your triangle into the second double crochet insert the hook and single crochet chain two more and again into the very next chain five insert the hook and slip stitch to join chain two and insert the hook into the second to last double crochet and single crochet to join chain two again and insert the hook into the chain five space to join join with a slip stitch and chain two more to finish the chain five space insert the hook into the chain five and single crochet now chain two insert the hook into the very next chain five space of the triangle that you are joining with slip stitch to join and chain two more now 
insert the hook into the second double crochet. Chain 2 and again into the next. Chain 5 space, chain 2 again and insert the hook into the second to last. Double crochet of course. Now again chain 2 and insert the hook into the chain 5 space so that's why I'm saying just be sure you are working in each chain 5 space, you are joining in each chain 5 space. So into the chain 3 work a single crochet. Now we are on the pico, working the pico, let me, so it's here the pico, the two picos because now here I have two, just want to see where, okay it's here that I want to join with a slip stitch, chain two more, come back and into the single crochet slip stitch to close the pico and now just work three four five one two three four five into the second double crochet single crochet one two three four five just to finish the triangle so the last round work a single crochet and now we have one two three four five insert the hook into the very first single crochet worked and slip stitch to join and yes that's it now we, we can just cut the yarn and this is what we have now I already joined one more here so it's really really nice I really love this triangle I think it's so delicate hope you enjoy this tutorial and this new motif that I I show you in this tutorial and don't forget to like my videos if you like them of course and to leave me a nice comment see you at the next tutorial bye bye